Hello folks, Prasad Dwamala here. In this video, I'll show you how to install Docker on Amazon Linux machine and I'll show you how to uh, Dockerize a sample PHP application. You can use this uh, process to develop your uh, PHP or any other um, application on uh, Docker containers. And you can upload your uh, Docker image to uh, Docker Hub and uh, distribute it as well. So let's get uh, started. First, we need a machine where we can install Docker and I'll call it as uh, my uh, Docker host. So it can be Windows, Mac or uh, a Linux machine. In my demo today, I'll use uh, AWS EC2 instance on uh, AWS Cloud as my uh, Docker host. So you can use your uh, local desktop or uh, laptop as your uh, Docker host if you wish to. So I have already launched my uh, EC2 instance and as I said, it's based on uh, Amazon Linux uh, AMI. Now the first step is to install Docker on this uh, EC2 instance. So let me log into my uh, Docker host using SSH. So first it's always better to uh, update your repository. So let me do uh, uh, sudo yum update. And now I'll install uh, Docker using um, sudo yum install hyphen y docker. So the installation should be uh, pretty quick. So Docker is installed now and we can verify the Docker version using uh, docker hyphen v. As you can see, we are running on uh, Docker version 17.03.1 hyphen C that is uh, community edition. Now let's start our uh, Docker service using uh, sudo service docker start. So the service is uh, started now and by default Docker is uh, started as a uh, root and you cannot execute uh, Docker specific uh, commands as a uh, normal user. Say for example, EC2 user with which uh, we uh, logged into this SSH console. So if you run a Docker info, say for example, you'll get a permission uh, denied error. So Docker by default creates a Docker group which does not have any users uh, in it. So you can verify that uh, by looking at um, ATC group and then you can grab on uh, Docker which is the group name. So as you can see it does not uh, have any user IDs uh, in this group. So to run the Docker commands as a normal user we need to add our uh, user ID which is EC2 user in, uh, in my case uh, to the Docker group. So you can do that using uh, sudo user mod and then hyphen A for adding and then hyphen G, specify the group name, that is docker, and then the username, which is ec2 hyphen user in my case. So now if you see uh, ATC group, the ec2 user uh, user ID is added to uh, docker group. Now let's uh, log out and uh, log in again to activate uh, group membership. So I'll just exit the console and then log in again. Now you should be able to uh, execute uh, docker command. So let's run the docker info once again. And uh, you should get the detailed uh, information of the docker process. So docker uh, setup is uh, now complete. Next we need to uh, set up our application. So I have a sample application on uh, github at uh, github.com uh, slash pdomala slash uh, dockerize uh, php sample. So I'll leave the link in the description as well. So we just have one uh, index.php uh, file which displays uh, the basic uh, PHP info in this application. So nothing uh, complicated here. So we need to clone this uh, git repository on our uh, Docker host and we need uh, git install for that. So let's uh, do that. So sudo yum install hyphen y git. Now git is installed on our docker host. So once it's uh, installed, we can use git clone command to clone the repository to our um, uh, docker host. Before that, let me uh, create a directory called uh, my docker inside my uh, home directory and navigate to my docker just to keep things organized. So now you can execute um, git clone, that is git clone 
and then the URL. You can get the URL from uh, GitHub here. So you can just copy this URL. Okay, we have uh, our application uh, cloned to our Docker host now. So you can verify that. So we have our uh, application directory created. Let's navigate into the application directory and we have our sample index.php file. Okay, so let's get back to my Docker folder. And now it's uh, time to create a Docker file. So Docker file is a, a basic uh, text document which contains a set of instructions for Docker to build your uh, images. You know, instructions or uh, you know commands uh, we would like to execute when you are uh, building your own uh, customized uh, Docker images. So there are many uh, pre-built uh, community images as well on uh, Docker Hub uh, for different applications and uh, you know development environments which you can uh, download. But in this demo, I'll show you how to build your own image uh, from the latest uh, Ubuntu uh, base image. So I'll create a new uh, Docker file here. A Docker by default um, looks for this uh, file for instructions, you know, while creating the image. Okay, so let me copy the contents of this file and I'll explain uh, the instructions briefly to save some uh, typing. Okay, so this is my uh, Docker file. So each line uh, in Docker file is an instruction and uh, we'll start with the instruction keyword uh, like uh, run app, copy, CMD and so on, uh, followed by uh, the command. So first line here specifies the base image. In our case, uh, it is uh, Ubuntu 16.04 version. So you can use any version or uh, you know Linux distribution here. Uh, but remember to update the commands as per uh, the Linux uh, distribution you're using. For example, use yum instead of, you know, apt-get uh, if you're using uh, CentOS or any other RHL-based uh, distributions. Next line is the maintainer for this Docker file. This is optional instruction. It just specifies uh, who is maintaining this uh, particular Docker file. So you can provide your name and uh, email ID here if you wish to. And as always, it's better to update your uh, repository when you're building images or uh, installing any software. You can do that uh, using run instruction here and then followed by the command uh, which is uh, apt-get update hyphen y. So make sure you provide a hyphen y. If not, uh, the Docker process will be waiting for the user input and uh, will fail uh, eventually. So next step is to install Apache. So we can do it using uh, run instruction again and then uh, the command apt-get install hyphen y and then Apache 2. Similarly, we can install PHP modules as well using run instruction and uh, followed by apt-get install hyphen y and then all your uh, required PHP modules. You can also do it in a single uh, instruction if you want, both Apache and uh, PHP. So at this stage, our Apache and PHP will be installed and we need to copy our application to Apache uh, document root. So before copying, I'm just cleaning up the default files by using run instruction again and then uh, followed by rm-rf which deletes uh, all files under a slash var www html, which is the default document root for uh, Apache. Now you can copy the application files to Docker container using add instruction followed by uh, source and destination. In our case, the source would be Dockerize PHP sample, which is our application directory on the Docker host. And then slash var www html is the default document root inside the Docker container. Next, I added some optional uh, Apache configuration so if you want to customize your Apache installation, like changing the run user and um, run group, or uh, you know changing the ownership of the document root and specifying the Apache log location and so on. So you can set the environment properties using env uh, instruction here. As you can see, I have uh, changed the run user to www-data and run group to uh, www-data as well. And then I have changed the Apache log directory to var uh, log Apache too. So these uh, settings are optional here. If you want, you can uh, configure Apache the way you like it. And next we need to open port 80 using expose instruction, which allows us to access the application on uh, port 80. And finally, we need to uh, start Apache service. So we need to make sure that the process is started in the foreground. Otherwise the container will exit immediately, uh, you know, after uh, startup. So we can do this using uh, CMD instruction followed by the list of arguments. In our case, we'll pass um, Apache CTL uh, path and hyphen D and then uh, foreground as uh, arguments. So once you're happy with all these uh, build instructions, you can save your uh, Docker file. 
So I'll post this uh, Docker file and uh, other commands I used in this video on my blog. So I'll leave that link in the description for you to have a look. So once your uh, Docker file is ready, we need to build our image using uh, Docker build command. And then you need to provide a name or tag name hyphen T. So I'll just call mine as uh, pdomla slash uh, dockerize uh, php sample. And then you need to uh, provide dot in the end, which specifies uh, uh, that our Docker file is located in the current directory. So if you have it somewhere else, you can specify using um, a hyphen F on the location of your uh, Docker file. So now Docker will uh, pull the base uh, Ubuntu image and customizes it as per the instructions we specified in the Docker file. So when you build the image for the first time, it will take uh, a few minutes to pull the base image and customize it. And all subsequent uh, build uh, should be uh, pretty quick. So as you can see, it's running apt-get update now. Now it's installing uh, Apache and all its uh, dependencies. Okay, it's installing uh, PHP now. Okay, now the build process is complete. As you can see, all the instructions are executed here. So it's uh, removing the default files in your uh, Apache document root. And it's copying our uh, dockerized PHP sample to the document root. And it's uh, configuring the optional uh, Apache uh, environment variables, exposing port 80, and finally starting your um, uh, Apache service. So now our uh, image is uh, built. So you can view the images using docker images command. As you can see, we have our uh, pdomla dockerized PHP sample image. And the tag is the latest. And then this is the image ID the size of your image. Now we can run our Docker container using uh, docker run command. So docker run, and then you need to provide hyphen i, hyphen t, and hyphen d. So hyphen i is to keep the std uh, input open. Hyphen t is to allocate a uh, pseudo shell uh, to the container so that you can log into uh, SSH. And hyphen d is to run the container in detached mode or in, in the background. Next, we need to specify hyphen P, which specifies uh, port forwarding between uh, Docker host and Docker container. So in our case, we need all requests coming to uh, port 80 on Docker host to be uh, forwarded to uh, port 80 on the Docker container. So I'll just specify 80, colon 80. And then our image name, which is uh, pdomla slash dockerize php sample. So now our container is started and we can check the status of our container using uh, docker ps-a command which will give you the container ID, the image name and then the command which is uh, executed and the time when it got created and the status and then the port forwarding details and some auto generated uh, name of the container. At this stage we can access our PHP application using a uh, hostname or the IP address of the docker host. In my case, uh, it is an EC2 instance. So let me grab my uh, DNS from my uh, AWS console and then access the application, the DNS slash index.php. And we should be able to view our uh, sample uh, PHP info page. So that is how you uh, run your PHP or any other applications inside your uh, Docker container. Now, if you want to log into the container itself and do some uh, changes to the application files, you can do it using docker exec command. So let's get back to the SSH console here. So you can run docker exec and uh, you need to provide hyphen i and hyphen t options again. And then followed by the container ID. So this is our container ID. Let me copy that. And uh, you need to specify the command you need to execute. So in our case, uh, we just want to uh, log into the shell. 
So I'll just give bash as my uh, command. So now we are logged into uh, the shell of our uh, container itself and you can navigate to our uh, document root say for example slash var www.html and you can view our uh, application files here. So let me create a, a test a HTML file. I'll just say echo this is my test HTML page and then I'll redirect it to say test.html. So we have our test.html file created. So we need to change the permissions for this file because we are running it as our root. I'll just change it. ch one dub 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 data dub dub data then the file name. Okay, so now we can access this particular uh, test page from the browser. So you can go here and then do test.html. So you should be able to see our uh, test page which we have just created inside the container. Now let me uh, show you how you can distribute your uh, images using uh, Docker Hub. So you need to uh, have an ID with uh, Docker Hub to do this and you can register uh, for free on uh, uh, hub.docker.com. So once the image is uh, pushed to Docker Hub, anyone can uh, pull the image and uh, run your uh, application. So first let me uh, log into Docker Hub using Docker login command. So provide your user ID and then the password. Okay, now I am logged in uh, to my uh, Docker Hub account. So now you can uh, just run Docker push and then your uh, image name, which is pdomala slash uh, dockerize uh, php sample. So it might take a few minutes to upload your uh, image to uh, Docker Hub. Meanwhile, uh, you can log into Docker Hub, hub.docker.com. Let me log in with my uh, user ID. So as you can see, we have our uh, uh, Dockerize uh, PHP uh, sample image uploaded here. So on the upload process is also complete on our um, console. And you can see that image uh, in your Docker Hub account. So if you want to uh, pull this particular image, you can just uh, run this command docker pull and then the name of your uh, Docker image. And you can directly uh, run the image and access the application. So you don't need to uh, build the image again if you want to use this particular image. So that's it guys. Uh, you now know how to install Docker and uh, build Docker images. And uh, you have also seen uh, how to run PHP applications inside uh, your Docker containers. So please post a comment if you have any questions or uh, suggestions. Hope this video was helpful. So please uh, like and subscribe to my channel for uh, more videos on uh, cloud computing. And I've also posted all the commands and URLs I used in this video on my uh, blog. So I'll leave the link in the description for you to have a look. So that's it for today. Have a nice day and uh, see you in the next one.